what's going on youtube it's me the bolt the bear and we are back with another not build request but something i just wanted to throw together for the new chapter the castlevania chapter it's now live in dead by daylight and from now on we're probably going to be doing xenomorph and dracula videos with builds on both of them so i hope you guys enjoy make sure to slap a like on the video sub if you want to see more of this it helps me and it helps me understand that you guys want to see more of this and my goal by the end of the year is 1k we are slowly approaching it and it is phenomenal i appreciate all the support from you guys but before this is too long-winded let's get into the build i wanted to incorporate at least one new dracula perk in my xenomorph build today so what we have is we have a hex build we have hex wretched fate after one generator has been repaired a random doll totem becomes a hex totem and curses the obsession the obsession suffers a 33 percent uh, speed penalty repair speed penalty they also see this hex totem's aura within when within 12 meters this effect persists until the hex totem is cleansed then we have hex pentimento this one's a long one you see the aura of destroyed totems you can perform a ritual on a destroyed totem to rekindle it as a hex totem for hex pentimento for each hex totem active at the same time hex pentimento gains an additional effect one hex totem decreases survivor's repair speed by 30 percent Two Hex Totems decrease the survivor's healing speed by 30%. Three Hex Totems decrease the survivor's recovery speed from being down by 30%. Four Hex Totems decrease the survivor's exit gate opening speed by 30%. And then five Hex Totems, all Totems are blocked by the entity. When a previously rekindled Hex Totem is removed by any means, it remains, its remains are consumed by the entity and it cannot be rekindled again. These two are great paired together, I feel like, because one punishes one person and when they uh, decide that they don't want that anymore you punish the whole team and then uh we have brutal strength this one's just a comfort perk as always destroy drop pallets breakable walls and generators 20 percent faster and then we have hex ruin all generators are affected by hex ruin while a generator is not being repaired by a survivor it will immediately and automatically regress repair uh progress at 100 percent of the normal regression speed a lot of survivors work through this so i don't know how much we're gonna see this affect the game but who knows we'll see and then for the add-ons, I chose, as always, Improvised Cattle Prod. Each time a generator is completed, a 15-second timer starts. Any survivor who comes within 10 meters of a control station during that time has their aura revealed for the remainder of the timer. And then we have Semiotic Keyboard. Generators within 16 meters of a turret have the intensity of their auras determined by their repair progression. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I just, Like I said, I just wanted to throw a Dracula perk in there to see what we can do. I'm not a huge fan of his perks, but I can see the value um, mixed with other perks, so... Sorry about that. A loud car just drove by. Not sure if that's going to play or not, but I'll see you guys in the match. Right, it's Xenomorph on Eerie of Crow. They brought me here. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> We're just trying out Dracula's new perk with a hex build. Xenomorph is typically all right at defending hex builds. It's not as good as, like, let's say, Hag or something, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Sorry, I had a hiccup. All right, what do we got? I do see Alucard on that gen... Hey, what's up, dude? I saw Alucard, but I did know somebody else was here, so... Let's see. Ooh, I see Ace over there in the background. What are we going to do here? We got a little... Little altruistic squad here. Is that what we got? We're going to fake going down. Yeah. Do this. Nah, you ain't getting that flashlight sa saved. Get out of my face, bro. Alright, we'll pick him up, throw him up on hook. Get out of my face, bro. I said it once. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> he took off. <laughs> Alright, we get our first down. I'm gonna break some of the break these walls because these make the building so bad. Alright. Ruin is, I know, I know a lot of, myself included, a lot of survivor players just play through Ruin. There's like not even, no offense to anybody that uses Ruin, but it's kind of not great. It, it, it's kind of meh at best. All right. Dude, you can barely hear these gens being worked on, man. Like, it's so faint. I don't know if you guys can tell that, because I do have it turned down a little bit for you. I think she actually went to the pallet. Oh, she did. Fake that. Ooh, she did bolt it. Nice, you get to hit there. Um, but 
The sounds are so faint. Even for me. Somebody, somebody running up. You, you trying to smack my ass, bro? Is that what you're trying to do? Alucard? I don't think you should do that anymore. You hear me? I don't think you should do that. I didn't say you could do that. Yo, what's up, dude? You regret that now? You regret doing that to me? Fake that. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, we're not doing too bad on downs right now. So, I'm all good with that. That's chill for me. We'll throw him up on the hook. And boop. Ooh, okay, so... Dracula's new perk is active. The obsession, I think it's 30% that they're getting, uh... Like, there is... Like, makes them 30% slower on gens. So, if they, they'll get punished for, uh... Cleansing that totem, too. Which is something I don't really agree with. Um... I don't agree with them getting the perk. You waited too long. Uh, I don't... Like, it's one of those perks I don't like. Um... So, like, I don't like perks that punish the opposite side for doing their objective. Unless it's warranted. Like, if it's... if it's So, like, No Way Out, for example. It's rewarding the killer for doing their job, but also punishing the survivors for getting to the end game. It's a give and take. Uh, I don't want to chase a check, so I'm probably going to leave this. Yeah. Um, I don't mind that kind of stuff, but deadlock... Things like that. Like, old made for this. I don't like survivors and killers, like, getting stuff for the opposite side doing well. But, that's just me. It's just how I feel. I don't like, I don't like handouts, really. Um, yo, what's up, Alucard? Uh, we're actually going to rotate through, this, through the building again. See if we can't catch them off guard. Yeah, he did hold W. Ooh, they finally got it. So what that means is... Oh, he just continued to hold W. He didn't even play that. Smart. Smart and leaving. Is, he, that's a terrible pallet for him. And he wasted as much time as he could. So, that's, it. that's that. We'll throw him up. Throw him up on the hook. And... Boop. Throw up. And Demento. Somebody's here. Oh, they ran away. Oh, it's Ace. How's it going, Ace? What's up, man? Haven't seen you since the beginning. When you tried to hurt my eyes. Ooh, we got the drag there. You love to see it. We'll pick him up. And throw him up on the hook. Boop. They're not doing too bad on gens, all things considered. If we're being real here. Look at him. Look at him hard sitting the gen, bro. I didn't... Did Claudette already go in for the save? She did. Um, we'll have to... I'm going to try and get Claudette out. Because that Jen is pushing along. Okay, she's playing as well. We'll break this. These filler pallets are kind of annoying. Oh, she had life. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, nice. She did. She, she got me to. She, she she got me to play that super, super well. I see Alucard in the distance. Boom. And we'll pick her up. Pick her up, and we'll throw her up on hook, and she is out of the game. That's good for us. Now, can we get over to this? Uh, I'm not gonna take the. Uh, I'm not gonna take the uh, tunnel. <laughs> dead hard yeah you just you felt like a dead hard player break that 
pick him up and throw him up on the... Gotta be careful on this. So, 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 okay. Alright, man. Alright, bro. Alright, man. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? <laughs> pick him up and throw him on hook now. Uh, Alucard did heal. So, where are you at? Where you be, Alucard? Where you be? Nothing here. Are you over here again? No? I'm honestly, like, I'm not shocked that Ruin has stayed up. Most survivors, like, most competent survivors don't even care about Ruin at this point. Like, Ruin... Ruin is... Just minimal regression. Nice, we get the hit there. And... Boop! What's up, man? I'm gonna go make you men. Don't... What are you saying? You saying don't do it? Alright, I'll break this. You saying don't do it? Is, some, is somebody else here that you warning me about? Yep, absolutely somebody else was there. With my eyes! Let me out! Let me out! I promise you I'm looking down. <laughs> and they were still getting chain blinds. That's wild. And the dead hard. Oh my god, they're just being silly now. That dead hard was funny, bro. Alright, we get to down there. I'm just gonna pick up. <laughs> I'm, and I'm gonna walk through the pallet. That's the ultimate form of dominance right there. Alright. Alucard's dead. Where'd you, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there you are. Alright. Alucard's dead. Uh, Ace is next. Ace is next. I'm coming for you, buddy. Don't worry. I'm right behind you. Actually, pretty successful build. All things considered. They did power through it, though. <laughs> He's like, oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to M1 you at that point, buddy. And... What's up, man? Look at how fast he is with that. The champion of light. You are the champion of light. Oh no. Do we give him hatch? Do we give him hatch or do we do we just let him die on hook? Hatch, hook. Hatch, hook. I'm gonna give him hatch. GG's guys. GG's. Alright, for our Dracula build, we're going to go with something that's pretty safe and it covers all of ba the bases and stuff. We're not going to be too creative with this while we learn the killer. I didn't get much time on the day that he released, so like we're still kind of learning. So uh, I'm, I'm probably going to say it in the match, but bear with me that we're probably not switching as much as we should be and stuff like that. Like I'm still learning, uh, but this will be the second main. So these are going to be the two killers you're going to see in most of my matches. But as always, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Um, we have Pop Goes the Weasel. After hooking a survivor, the next generator you damage instantly loses 20% of its current progress. Normal generator regression applies after the damage generator action. Pop Goes the Weasel is active for 45 seconds after the survivor is hooked. Then we have Lethal Pursuer. At the start of the trial, the auras of all survivors are revealed to you for 9 seconds. Any time a survivor's aura is shown for a period of time, its duration is increased by 2 seconds. Then we have Brutal Strength. Destroy drop pallets, breakable walls, and generators 20% faster. And nowhere to hide. Whenever you damage a generator, reveal the aura of all survivors standing within 24 meters of your position for 5 seconds. For the add-ons, I chose Moonstone Necklace. Reduce the size of the Terror Radius and Vampire and Wolf Forms by 4 meters just to get closer for the any of the attacks and whatnot. And then we have Ruby Circlet. Decrease the cooldown of Hellfire by 10%. Overall, I just wanted a build that I'm comfortable with. Not too much gen regression because I do think that hinders your ability to actually learn the killer. It gives you too much time and you're not put under pressure. Uh... And then hey, there's some information, there's some resource management and gen regression. Like I said, not too much, but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the match. All right, we have one of our first few matches of Dracula. And I, I'm using this build as like an all-around build. We have some info, we got some uh, resource management, and we got some 
gen regression. It's typically one of the perk. Sorry. Yeah, one of the perk builds I use to get a feel for the characters. And bear with me, I'm probably not going to be switching a lot with these uh, with Dracula. Uh, this match, I'm getting a feel for the character, and I with these characters that have multiple different abilities, um, I tend to like focus on one to start. Very nice, very nice. We get the Hellfire there. So if I'm not switching to Wolf Form, oh, and we get the hit there. That was nasty. Uh, if I'm not switching as often as you see other people, it's because I kind of, like, I, I take my time and learn one one thing at a time, really. Um, so, you guys should be patient with me. Like, this is going to be my second main. Uh, obviously, we're going to have Xenomorph still. Ooh, already on point with the Hellfires. I, lo I love it, dude. I love it. All right, we get the down there. Not bad, not bad. We'll pick him up. Pick them up uh, and kind of search some some people out. Okay, this gen is was being worked on. Let's see if we have any nowhere to hide value. Nothing. That's okay. Lethal pursuer giving us a little bit more time with that. All right. All right. She's gonna be over there. We'll give this a little kick just to see if anybody's around and she was the closest one hey that's still got some distance dude that's not bad all right yeah i really like uh all of dracula's like different abilities and stuff oh wow i probably could have gotten that his hellfire does seem to come out pretty slow but i definitely understand it's coming from me playing xenomorph who has a fast ranged attack <laughs> Yeah, so this is like this is definitely more like pyramid heads, um, but you can't shoot it over objects that are uh, taller than you or you're equal to your height. So, okay, nothing there. I don't know. I I, I know they increase wolf speed. It just still feels slow. I think it's. Oh right, you can't see aura reading with this. Right. So that's basically like spirit. Alright, we'll get a hit here. Nice. Okay, he did not take that. Can we get this? Flare out. Nice. You a lot of, so what I've noticed is a lot of people like flare out. Um so getting getting you like I feel like pyramid pyramid head mains are gonna be really good with hell, hellfire. Outside of obviously like not being able to use it at most like like you can't you have to use it like uh, Nemesis tentacle whip and uh, Xenomorph's tail. Now, wait a second, wait a second. Nice, dude. Nice, we got that hit there. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay, okay. Ooh, I hear them healing beside me. Man, if I wouldn't have pulled up, I could have got that down, bro. I could have got that down. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This is it, what you guys came to see. Oh, she had resilience. All right. Okay. We got Ace here. Testing the range, really. Okay, so we if we had the extra one. No, um, not the extra one. Yeah, no, if we... Uh, if... <sighs> I'm stumbling on my words. I need to, I need to relax. I need to focus. Um... Uh... We were just out of range is what I was saying for that other one. For, for what happened there. We were just out of range. We'll kick this, see if we don't get any information. Uh, we do see... Oh, they're all here. Well, three of them. Fake that. She didn't fall for it. There's two people up there, so she might just not fall for it. Uh, okay. Hold on, I'm going to back, back myself up there. And... Nice, we got the down. And Trevor's here? What's up, dude? Get a little hit there on him. The music's so good. 
It's not like Wesker level's good, but it, it, it's, it's good. I like it. I don't think they'll ever top Wesker. I feel like that was Trevor in a distance. But, uh, making sure, like, Fung's not around here. Cause she be, I saw her hanging around. That's okay. We'll see. Yeah, Ace is over here working away. Ace is over here working away, man. Quit it, dude. Yeah, so this is kind of like, this is my build that I, like I said, I get, I, I, I tend to try and get used to characters with this build because it does give you, like, a broad covering. Um, I, I don't think it's smart to use too much gen regression. Nice, I'm actually shocked we got that hit. It looked like it was behind her. Um... Yeah, I don't recommend using a lot of gen regression with uh, new new killers. Uh, I think it hinders you. Yes, you you'll have more time in the match to learn, but you also aren't being punished for your mistakes. And I think that's a I think that's a big thing. Like having one gen regression perk is cool uh, to give you to alleviate some of the pressure. Um, but mostly you want to you just want to have perks and stuff that'll get you into chase and uh give you give you more opportunities to learn and play around the killer because you gotta remember you're also going against uh survivor meta and survivor well he didn't dodge at that time um survivor survivor gameplay doesn't really change right but kill, the killer gameplay does nice we actually broke the pallet there um, killer gameplay is more varied and changes. So, like, learning a new killer is vastly different than learning a new survivor. You don't have to learn a new survivor. The most you have to do is learn, um... Nice. Uh, the most you have to do is learn new perks on survivor. Learning a new killer is, like, learning a... Add, like, add, like the, let's say Dracula. Adding a bunch of different mechanics into one... <laughs> Granted, some some mechanics are pretty similar to other killers, which is like that's all right. We'll get the hang of Dracula. We'll pop this. We do see. I think there's a Cheryl. It is Cheryl. Get a little hit here. Bear with me. I think my dogs are gonna be barking here. All right, Cheryl's in the distance. Let's see what we can do. Oh, she's screaming. Oh, did she end up running? I, it, her scratch marks look like they might have ran away. Yeah, they didn't. Oh, she seems so fast, dude. She seems so fast, man. All right. Wait. Wait. Okay. She vaulted into me. She was panic vaulting for sure. All right, we'll pick her up, throw her up on hook. <laughs> and boop. All right, dude. Was that Fong? I think it was Fong. Okay, so what we're gonna do is chase her. Oh, can I get this? That's good to know that you can hit from, from the entrance to the window. That is good to know. That's some good knowledge there. Oh, hear that gen going. Um, do I want to... I want to commit to this. This is a dead zone. I don't think there's anything over here. Sick dead hard nerd. Pick her up. Throw her up on hook. Probably should have got my pop real quick, but, you know, whatever. Nobody around. That's all right. Okay, come over this way, Ace probably, yeah, Ace is taking off, we'll kick this, we'll kick this and head back, because uh, I feel like Trevor was over there somewhere, but he might have, he might know we have nowhere to hide at this point, uh, and he, what are you pointing at me for, huh, what are you pointing at me for, man, get the hit there, might go for Fung too, yeah, she's, she's in the dead zone still, so, We'll take this one back. Sick dead hard. We'll throw her up on a hook. 
And before anybody's like, oh, you titled, yeah, it's it's getting close to end game. Gener generator progress is kind of, yeah, look at this. Uh, I'm not saying they did it like, incredibly fast, but I think it's fair for me at this point to get them out of the game. Uh, Ace just running at us, maybe fun with his friend. Trevor could be his friend too, and he's just trying to give him a hatch, but that's a GG's, dude. That is a GG's. Not a bad, not a bad match, dude. Not a bad match. We got we got a decent amount of hellfires. I think I could do better with um switching between the powers though. But yeah, GG's. Alright, guys, that's today's builds. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoy that we are adding more than one killer into the mix now. We're gonna have Dracula and Xenomorph in our videos, and let me know any builds you have for either of them that I will try. I appreciate everybody being so supportive and throwing their build requests and stuff in the chat. Sorry, not chat, comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to slap a like on it and sub if you want to. It does help me and it helps me understand what you guys want to see more of. You guys have been killing my goal of 1K by the end of the year. We're almost there. I'm happy about it. I appreciate all of you guys. So make sure to stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your days, nights, evenings, whatever time it is for you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.